In 1978, the Japanese version of the People's China published an article about the discovery of a Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain in Liaoning, arousing widespread attention of collectors. Soon, this piece of porcelain was officially recognized as the first Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain, preserved privately and then collected by the state. Yang Yongsheng from Shenyang discovered and collected this porcelain. He found it at the cultural relic purchase station in Anshan in 1976. He named it Blue and White Octagonal Jar with Pine Tree, Bamboo and Plum Blossom Design. The jar is an octahedron in blue and white glaze. It is large and thick, with five layers of blue and white decorative patterns. The middles of the eight sides are painted with pine tree, bamboo, blossom, blossom, and waterfowl in a lotus pond. The lines are dense, texture is crystal, and the patterns are vivid. The blue glaze has a purple tint, which is soft and elegant. Over 300 pieces of Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain are housed in the world's major museums, mostly as collection highlights. However, there are only two blue and white octagonal jars in existence. One was found in Anshan, while the other was unearthed in Thailand. Many of the Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain pieces collected in China are in fragments, such as the phoenix head pot and the porcelain jar featuring the story of Zhao Jun departing the frontier, the deer patterned blue and white plate, and the elephant eared vase with a folded branch and a floral design. In contrast, the Yuan Dynasty blue and white octagonal jar is intact, making it invaluable. Blue and white porcelain first appeared during the Tang Dynasty, but its quality was quite poor. The technique was developed throughout the five dynasties as well as during the Song, Liao, and the Jin Dynasties. However, it wasn't until Yuan Dynasty that the production achieved a qualitative breakthrough. This was due to the Mongolian royal family's fascination with the combination of blue and white. Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain pieces are made for royal family. They were often given as gifts to foreign states. The artists who painted on blue and white porcelain were mostly first-class craftsmen. The material used to craft them was called Su Ma Li Qing, which was imported from Persia. This material was so rare that it had gradually started becoming extinct. This blue and white octagonal jar is a well-preserved example of the Yuan Dynasty blue and white porcelain. It fills the gap in identifying other specimens. Its apical significance extends to research, time, determination, identification, and other fields related to Chinese ceramics.